Hello, and welcome to this installment of Tutorials by the Coeur d'Alene School District. This tutorial is intended to assist those in the Coeur d'Alene School District to help students log in and begin using Typing Master. In a separate tutorial, I'll discuss how to use the management side of Typing Master to create student groups and modify student program goals within the system. To begin, all students will need to navigate to the Typing Master login page. The login page is going to look exactly like this, and you'll know that you're in the right spot when you see the Coeur d'Alene School District banner across the login page. To get to that login page, you need to use this URL, and you will want to coordinate with your building tech leader or web editor to have this link placed somewhere so that the students will be able to access it easily. Once the students get to this page, they will use their individual login to access their own account. All students have an account in the system already. They should not need to be created. If they do not, please contact the tech department for further instructions. And you can contact us at techrepair at cdaschools.org. Their account details, the login ID, is going to be the same username that they would use for the computer, which is their grad year plus the first initial plus their last name. So for example, mine might be something like this. Their passwords is going to be very similar. It's going to be their grad year plus their first initial plus their last initial. So it should only be four characters long and the initials are capitalized. So for example if it were me it would be 23DK. That would be my password. So I'm going to go back over here, and when the students log in, they will see the study area. They will not see the manager, as that's only for people given admin access. They will see the studying tab, a results tab, courses, typing tests, and typing games. Under the studying tab, that will show them in the course that they're currently enrolled in and working on and they can begin to work on the lessons and go through the course. In the results tab, they'll see their results from the lessons as well as the individual parts for the lessons. They can see how long they spent in there as well as their speeds and accuracy numbers. Under the courses tab, they'll see the courses that are available to them and they can switch back and forth between any courses that are that they're enrolled in. Under typing tests, this is going to be an important tab because the first thing you'll probably want your students to do is take this pretest. It's going to give them their typing speed and accuracy before they begin taking the course. It will also give you as the teacher a good starting point to know where the students are when they come in and where you need to get them to before they leave. And along the way, they can take these self-assessment tests to get a dipstick uh, of where they are, what they've learned, and what they still need to work on. There's a lot of different texts that they can choose from. They've got beginner, intermediate, advanced, and even some business texts that they can go through and use. They can also adjust how long they're typing for those tests. The final tab is their typing games. And these are games that they can use to practice the typing skills. And it's been suggested that these would be good to use as rewards for students who complete their lesson goals each time that they're in the computer lab working. If you have any questions, please, please feel free to contact the tech department at techrepair at cdaschools.org. Or you can contact Dan Kirkbride at dkirkbride at cdaschools.org. And we will get... Uh, your questions answered and help you to be successful with Typing Master.
Thanks.